We are looking at the sub-oscillator, or low-frequency oscillator as it's more commonly called, of the Yamaha CS50. We're going to take a look at how it can affect, how the voltage control of the low-frequency oscillator can affect the filter cutoff point in the voltage-controlled filter. In order to do this, I am going to lower the filter cutoff point so it's about mid-level in the filter section. because if it's all the way open, we can't hear the control voltage that is being applied to it because it's simply completely open, so there's nothing to modulate. So it's partially closed, and here is what we're going to hear. I have it set to the sine wave, and it's at a moderate speed, and here's what it sounds like. and we can adjust the speed. And because the LFO on the CS50 goes into the audio range, we can get this sort of distorted, uh, extremely fast modulation. That is the sine wave. Let's have a listen to the saw wave. The uh, inverse saw wave. See the difference between the two? This is the inverse saw wave right here. Here's the saw wave. As you might expect, it is the opposite. The square wave. And noise, which is a wonderful modulation to have uh, put towards the filter cutoff point because it is random. And so it can give you a random fluctuation in the filter cutoff point of the filter. <laughs> in extreme cases, it can give you a kind of crazy sizzle like the one we're listening to. Again, the speed has no control over noise because there is no speed to noise, it's just noise. Um, but we do have the ability to control the amount that is controlling the filter cutoff point. If you put it at a low level, it results in a pleasant modulation. Giving it a bit of a random sizzle. And a sort of fatness, to be honest. just put it right at the bottom of audibility. 